Hello and welcome sports fans. This is the recap of IWU taking on the Bethel Pilots. Let's get right to it. The Wildcat D played their part in this game and showed up early. The D also got some help from sophomore goalie Rachel Fulkerson as she played a huge part in this one, really not allowing Bethel to do any damage at all. The offense was in attack mode all night and they couldn't capitalize early on, but then they started to heat up rather quickly. Tracy Tiernan giving a good pass to Kylie Dial here and she took advantage in the 12th minute. She's not done yet though, we'll hear more from her later. Back to the D, Susie Mace was on it all night giving the offense no room to breathe. Here with another forced turnover, back to the offense, they didn't stop either. Here Tori Lee showing some hustle, just barely blocked by the goalie there. More for the Wildcats, Kelsey Johnson wanting to get in the mix with a goal of her own here in the 37th minute, assisted by none other than Dial. The ladies nearly doubling the shot on goal with 15 versus Bethel's eight. Again, more of the same, not on the first attempt, but freshman Annette Summersick sticking with it, assisting to Dial for her second goal of the night just before the half. Can she get one more for the hat trick? We'll find out. To the second half we go, the D kept up the intensity, clearly not giving Bethel any room to work. You can't say enough for the sophomore goalie getting a couple key saves in the game, laying it all out, and then hitting this one out to keep the shutout going. More from Dial, getting the long pass and taking it in. Can she get the third goal? I think she can. This gives Dial her third goal of the night, fourth point altogether. The Wildcats win big, 4-0. Their next match will be Saturday, October 29th, in the first round of the MCC tournament at Mount Vernon Nazarene. For WIW TV 51, Eli Witt.